coming from the space shuttle. Lots of eating in this one. That's daytime, obviously. That was from the CME that came in on September the 17th. Now let's try that again. of spaceweather.com See? You just click there and it, he puts these links on all the time. And it took us to that NASA site of the space shuttle. Uh, let's just update this. I'm a little behind. Oh, okay, well we're getting updated. We are in a small glancing blow CME right now. And as you can see, uh, there we go, 1295. We're up at uh, near 70% for a class X and growing, growing fast. So, probably by morning. Chill that loose. And that will be earth directed. Yeah, we're getting off pretty late, Leo, with the, the one that's in now, but <clears throat> keep in mind it's charging. It'll be charging the, uh, the east side. And, and this is this is about eight hours behind. So We'll see what happens. Yeah, this this is eight hours behind. <clears throat> they must be sleeping. <sighs> it's not all automated. And this is the uh, near Earth asteroid section. That's uh YU-55, if you click on this, it'll show you the uh, all the information in an orbital diagram. Oop, no, pardon me, that's uh, TM-8-2009. That's YU-55. And, of course, we're going to cross through the trail of Elenin, or perhaps originally we were going to cross through the tail. 
who knows now, or I haven't got calculations worth of shit. On the debris from its supposed breakup. That'll be on November the 8th and 9th. So, <clears throat> YU-55 will be, would have been flying through the comet tail. Where we're at now? Well, nobody's telling me. And coming tomorrow, we have the big URAS satellite coming in. Go to spaceweather.com. Okay. And you can get an update. See? Simple satellite tracker. I don't know. You put in your, uh, your postal code and it'll... It'll tell you when and where to look up. Like, exactly when. Keep in mind, this this is all changing because of the... Uh, unstable orbit. Mainly the... Uh, the CME on September the 17th. Oh, and ones before it. So, there you go. Do your own space weather. Here, I'm gonna give you one more actually. Just so you can do your own addresses and I'll put the links under more information. These are all off of solar image. I've shown you these before, so just to remind you. You can click on any of these and it'll open up and there's there's a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to show you them. And these dials get updated very regular. So you can get an idea when a CME is actually hitting. Almost never out of service because they're, they're an indication of a bunch of different calculations. Let's see, you can go to solar image. Put the link for space weather or solar image down in the more info, and we'll go to one more here. Okay, that's where I found that one. The, the, this is this is where many of them are. This is like the uh, gateway for. Uh, all astrophysics right, you got that NASA whole set and it's got lots right? each one of these has like a bunch of different pages and these will all open up right, like that and you can play them, some of them. Drag it up. And you can set your controls in through here. They're all slightly different. Change your times. And uh, if you click on this little movie thing, it'll, it'll play it through the times that you've set. Has to upload, and it'll play it. And you can move it and stop it down on the slide bar. So that's uh that's over five days, seven days. Great, that's all you get. And um that was a uh, tank drum. I'm gonna put links on the screen and under more info. I believe these are made from propane tanks. We'll give you them one more time. Right, for a propane tank.